Hi, uh, David Lazarus um, and my beautiful partner. Elsa Barbosa from Port Adventure Cruises in Port Macquarie, which, pass it on to you. Yeah, which now we're uh, part of probably one of the world's biggest, or is the world's biggest Elvis show tonight. We've got about four hours before blast off. Yeah. And um, it's the world's biggest, well, what's, what's the official name? Elvis. The biggest Elvis show on earth. Uh, the reason that is is because when Elvis performed, he had 48 musicians behind him, the biggest show ever. Tonight with both Anthony and, and, uh, and Paul, which is the first father and son Elvis tribute artist in the world. That's right. There's 115 musicians going to back this Elvis show, so it's pretty spectacular. And you won the Guinness? Last year, uh, it was in Melbourne at the Hamer, Hamer Hall in Melbourne, uh, yeah. with 109 musicians. And so won... Sydney's beat the record. Yeah, so he got the Australian Ooh. Book of Records for the biggest yeah. Elvis show. After the show, uh, a lady got on stage and John St. Peter's, the creative director, did not even know this was going to happen. And they actually announced it in front of 2,500 people that this was the biggest Elvis show ever be seen anywhere in the world so they got the plaque for that and that gave John it was always going to be a one-off show in Melbourne but he said Look, Sydney deserves this phone call to me here we are tonight so what do you do as a promoter of the show as a promoter my job's been very simple when um, when John showed me the video of uh, the Melbourne show with um, Marty Rowan I went down to Melbourne and sat at a motel I just got off the plane went to a motel where we met them and they showed me and he said, look, we're thinking about doing this show in Sydney. Do you think you could promote it for us? And I just said, mate, I'm in. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I said, yes. Um, so just seeing that Melbourne show, uh, John St. Peter's, as I said, he's the creative director. Marty Rohn's the, pro the uh, producer. producer. And they've done most of the groundwork for me. All my job has been to use my media contacts and my, con you, know, uh, you know, just sort of tell people about this show. So my role in it hasn't been... Um, Basically, our role has been to put bums on seats. Put bums on seats, and also to finance it. So yeah. we're sitting here tonight, knowing that you know, that we've got enough people to cover. Otherwise, we'd be sort of there singing Elvis songs at a, at a street corner <laughs> with, a, with a with a bucket trying to get some money. <laughs> but no, we're pretty good. We're oh, look, John St. Peter's. If I could just tell you the quick story, um, my cruise boat, as we all know, uh, who know us on our cruise boat. I do a, a senior's big day out cruise and I come out and do a, like an Elvis tribute show myself with a, one song. I got a lovely Elvis suit that, um, that I, I got for a thousand dollars which was a very good suit. John St. Peter's was at my house the day that they delivered the Elvis suit back because I had to sign over this boat and everything in it but I said can I have my Elvis suit back? So that they, they we, we retrieved, salvaged my Elvis suit but had oil and crap in it everywhere. Um, so John St. Peter saw that, saw my disappointment, and he knew how much of an Elvis fan I was, and he remembered that all these years later, eight years later, when he said, mate, do you want to be part of this show to help pay for your suit? <laughs> <laughs> Which is quite funny. Yeah. Okay. The world's biggest Elvis show. What are you expecting? I, I expect to be blown out of the water. Yeah. Look, I went to um, these boys, John St. Peter's and, and Marty Roan, they... They don't do shows, they do quality shows. Everything they do is big and better. Um, last week, um, they started their first show in Brisbane called The Rock Proms, which is on, I think, two weeks' time in Melbourne and Sydney. They had 50 musicians behind that show with a rock band, and I sat there. I didn't even tell them I was coming. I actually drove from Port Macquarie to Brisbane, mm. paid for a ticket, I, I, and, and sat there and I rang them up at half time. I, I said, great show, boys. And they said, you here? You know, it was amazing. And after the show, he said, what do you think? I said, fantastic. He said, mate, there's only 50 musicians here. Wait till next week. We've got 115. And I've just gone, well, I can't wait for this. Yeah. So I think it's going to be good tonight. I don't think there'll be anybody disappointed. Um, if they are, um, any praise comes to me. Any complaints goes to John. Elsa. <laughs> I'm used to that. <laughs> um, we're just going to just do what we normally do best. We just uh, do weddings, parties, anything, our dolphin spotting cruises. We've already got uh, we're nearly booked out for Christmas parties. Yeah, that's um, right. We've got a few things coming up. We've got, uh, at the end of this month, we've got an 80s band on. Um, in September, we've got an NXS band mm -hmm. on on the 16th of September. 
on the 10th. Bob Downs and, coming back. Yeah, he's Bob great. Downs coming back. Yeah, he's great, and, great comedian. Um, and Christmas parties. And Christmas parties. And dolphin cruises every every day where we see the dolphins. So yeah, pretty exciting. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you either call me on zero four three four three nine three one nine nine or portadventurecruises.com.au or through our Facebook page at Port Adventure Cruises. So yeah. Elvis. Is in the building. It's in the building. <laughs> <laughs>